I am Donald John Mackay, living here at Luskintide on the island of Harris. Weaving has been here for, for uh, many, many generations, if not centuries. And that was uh, typical of uh, every craft on these islands. I started weaving uh, because my father was a weaver. So as a family, we just grew up with weaving. So it felt quite natural for me when I left school to take up weaving. Uh, the inspiration behind what I do, I get mostly from my surrounding area of where I live. Because if you look at my color combinations and what I have, most of it you'll see the, the environment, the countryside, round about. To produce Harris tweed, first of all you need sheep. And it's certain breeds of sheep that their wool is used for the Harris tweed. After that, it is quite a lengthy process. The wool is dyed, carded, spun, and you now in Harris tweed, there's very, very few solid colors, if any. So, because each thread is made up of so many different colors, it's very vibrant. And hence, you get the nice combinations of colors within the, within the tweed. Now, I'm here using what is called the Hattersley domestic loom. These looms are no longer made. So most of the Harris tweed now that is produced is made on the double width loom, which is 150 centimeters wide. Weaving on these looms to do a meter will take me about, say, 20 minutes. But for that, I have to prepare it, set it up, and, have, and that is time consuming. I would give myself a week for a, to do 100 meters. But that includes preparing it, fetching the yarn, preparing it, warping it, setting it up in the loom and weaving it. The market for Harris Tweed nowadays is global and the demand is very, very high at the moment because Harris Tweed, unlike perhaps 30 years ago, has got so many end uses. Though at one time it was for ladies and gents clothing, but now the end uses of Harris Tweed are just endless. So the Harris Tweed industry plays a very, very big part, an important part in the lives of the people of these islands. Scotland, welcome to our life. 